So. Oh. 
the best things for last. Hallelujah. Do you believe it? Come on. Do you believe it? Place Church. We pray and hope that you're well. This is the day the Lord has made. We rejoice and be glad in it. Even though the struggles that we're dealing with and the problems that we're dealing with and, the, and the, all the stuff, the temptation the devil throws at us, you know what? We can have just a time with the Lord today. So just get focused. Get, get, um, get your Bible prepared. Get ready. Get your word ready. And follow along with us, and um, we're just excited about this message. Yeah I, yeah, I am so excited about this message because we are going to mm. tear the devil's Come on. kingdom Come down on. in the name of Jesus today. Um, so, guys, this is this is for real believers today. <laughs> um, let us not grow weary in doing mm. good, for in due season we will reap if we do not lose heart or faint not. Right, and that's right. how you actually feel sometimes <laughs> and how I have felt lately. Like I am almost going to faint, but I'm like, no way, no way. I got to keep going. I got to keep fighting yeah. spiritually speaking. Yeah. So, um, so I'm excited about this. Um, so we're personally going through, uh, the trial of our lives. So I was asking God, <clears throat> what is it that we are wrestling with? You know, because we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Mm -hmm. So it's like, oh my gosh, this is not even about people. This is about spirits coming against us. Mm -hmm. And I just ask the Lord, you know, and if we ask the Lord, he will tell us, he will tell us. And the Lord has um, uh, told me this before, and he told me this again, and he mentioned one name Jezebel. There you go. So this has been coming against us for a really long time since we got saved. And you know what? I'm going to prove to you in scripture that this is coming against every true believer. believer. Absolutely. Every true Absolutely. believer. And we're going to look at this in the word. And so here's the thing. If we don't know our enemy, here's, here's the, the main military tactic Right. Well, Veronica, we, we knowing think that, your enemy. Well, we think that, you know, that people are our enemy. Right. It's deeper than that. Deeper. Because than that. now, yes. now that doesn't Good mean you know, that doesn't mean to say that the people that we're dealing with don't have demons in them that we're fighting. Yeah. Exactly. Because that, that's exactly what we're fighting with the, the demonic influence on some of these people yeah. in their lives and how they've been controlled by the enemy, and how they, yeah. how they come after us, the true believer. And here's the thing. Here's how you give in to the devil. Mm. To the devil. Mm -hmm. you, you disobey God. Mm -hmm. These are sons of disobedience. Okay? So all you have to do to join with the devil is disobey God. So it's very there easy, very easy to, to get with his, his team. But, guys, we are team Jesus. Okay? Hallelujah. So, uh, so if we don't know our enemy, we cannot fight them. 
You're 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 throwing f- your fist in the air. I love you that. Know? Team Jesus. It's like, yeah, Team Jesus. There you go, baby. So we got to know what we're up against, you know, because again, if this thing, if this ugly thing is exposed, it loses its power. Yeah, loses its power. So that's what I want to do today is is um, tear yeah, tear yeah, down the veil and let the enemy so tremble. Let the, let the enemy tremble. That's right. Not the saints. Why should we be afraid? That's right. In the days of evil. That's right. So I'm gonna talk about Jezebel. Now we've done a few messes, messages on Jezebel. I will link those. Um, one of them was Jezebel is after you. Another one was the Jezebel depression because mm-hmm. if the Guys, if this, just like Elijah, when this comes after you, you want to die. You want to die. Elijah, a holy prophet of God, wanted to die because Mm -hmm. Jezebel came after him, threatened him with with her lies. So some things about Jezebel that you ought to know and that I had just had to go back into scripture and, and look at. Number one, Jezebel is a doctrine. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Jezebel, people say Jezebel is a spirit. Well, Jezebel is, is uh, how do you say, is a doctrine that attach, has many spirits. Because Jezebel was a witch hmm. and a harlot. Hmm. Okay, so there's a spirit of witchcraft. <laughs> there's a spirit of harlotry. So she has a lot of spirits attached to her. But Jezebel right. is actually a doctrine. So Revelation 2, 24 says, But unto you I say, unto the rest in Theatira, talking to the church, Jesus is speaking to the church here. As many as have not this doctrine, where he's talking <coughs> about Jezebel, okay? He says, as many as have not this doctrine, and which have not known the depths of Satan as they speak, I will put upon you none other burden. Yeah. So Jezebel is a doctrine who will lead you to the depths of Satan. This is where it's going. This is yeah. where when you join with the Je- Jezebel doctrine, which is absolutely in the church, Jesus is speaking to the church in Revelation 2 talking to the church of Theotira, he says, as as many of you don't have this doctrine, you won't know the depths of Satan. You you will be spared Mm -hmm. from Jezebel, her doctrine. That's right. And, I mean, it is the depths of hell and Satan. That's what it says here. So Mm -hmm. Jezebel is a doctrine and the depths of Satan. Number two, Jezebel is a a power. Oh, yeah. Ephesians 6, 12. For we we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rules of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Let me tell you, I think Jezebel is all those things. Mm. A principality, a power, a ruler, uh, uh, one of the rulers of the darkness of this world, and spiritual wickedness in high places. So what this says to me is Jezebel is a power over the nations, over the whole world. Oh, yeah. Jezebel is a political power. Okay, she holds the highest political power. Remember that Jezebel usurped her husband's authority. Yeah. Yeah. So to me, Jezebel was really the king of Israel. That's what I think. I think Jezebel was the king of Israel. Yeah, instead of Ahab. So she's also the head of all religious power. Mm-hmm. She's the head of religious mm-hmm. power. She's the, she's the head of power in the entertainment and media world. Guys, we have oh, seen this. Oh, don't pick on the entertainment we have world. We all need to be entertained by these Christian artists. We have seen this oh. firsthand, and, and you know what? It's the, that's like the perfect word to describe what we have seen going on in the music industry. And I want to say this. If you don't know these people personally, 
then you have no stand whatsoever. The only, if the only thing you know is their songs, then you got a problem. And they got you. They got you, man. As long as you don't know them, they got you. But once you know them, once you know their life, not once you know what, how they are inside their homes, where they are, you know, and they're not going to, a lot of these people won't show you who they are, okay? But I promise you, my, my, my dear brothers and sisters, just like what's happening in the media today with this one big mogul, what's in darkness will come to light. That means preachers, singers, right. musicians, whoever it is whoever. that has influence, influence. over you mm -hmm. because you've allowed it in right. by the entertainment of it. Entertainment, you've yes. worshipped and you've idolized these musicians, singers, preachers, politicians, all these people. You've idolized them above the Lord even though you may not say it out of your mouth, right. your actions prove differently. Wow. Mm. Woo. Yes. Come so on. Jezebel strives. Her whole thing is power. That's right. If any of you have ever been in a power struggle mm. with mm. another person or, or maybe a company yeah. or, you know, I mean, it's, it's, that's what she's after is power and she strives to have power over God's people. That's her her the thing that she wants the most, okay? Because again, this Jezebel doctrine is in the church. Okay? <laughs> and wow. it's it's there to bring wow. down believers. So wow. this is so this is the whole power struggle for the lives and souls of believers is this Jezebel so I'm going to prove this in scripture, Revelation 2.26. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, mm. to him will I give power over the nations. Again, if you overcome Jezebel, you will have power over the nations. Ooh. So the, the whole, her whole thing is power. Absolutely. And to gain power over you. This is what we are wrestling against, right? Wrestling right. is like. I don't really know, but like... I'll wrestle with you. you no. No? I'll probably lose. No, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. Okay, so number three, Jezebel. Now now we're really getting to the core <laughs> of what, what Jezebel and how she does this. Jezebel, and oh my gosh, and we've seen this with so many believers and their lives going bad. Jezebel seduces God's servants mm. into sexual immorality mm -hmm. and idolatry. There you go. Let's look at this. Um, Revelation 2.20. Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee be, um, because thou sufferest or you tolerate that woman Jezebel, which calleth herself a prophetess, to teach and seduce my servants to commit fornication. Mm. Now, fornication is basically uh, pornography, prostitution, anything mm. outside of, you know, biblical marriage, biblical marital sexual relations, okay? Yeah. Anything. Yeah. Lusting in your heart is considered yeah. adultery according to Jesus. And let me just give you a, a brief testimony of what I was talking about knowing people and knowing about their their lifestyle. Well, we happened to be on a, a tour that was it was a it was big powerful music tour back in the '90s, and uh, I I labeled it the Sodom and Gomorrah tour because everybody on that tour was in sexual immorality except for my wife and I, and maybe a couple of other people, no, the bus yeah, driver. There, were a few other, there was yeah. a few other people. Yeah. But the majority of your idols were committing sexual sin. You didn't even know it. All you did was, oh, I need your autograph. Oh, I want, I want to worship you. You weren't worshiping them. Yeah. I mean, worshiping the Lord. You were worshiping them, and the them that were, we that we that they were worshiping was in sexual sin. My goodness, wow, guys. Wow, it really shows 
who you worship wow. really shows who, when you do these things. Jesus said you will know them by their fruits. And so when you, we, we disobey God, we really show who we serve. Yeah, and it's amazing because people get mad at me. They go, oh, you, yeah. you're judging them. and yeah. You don't even know them. I know them personally. Let them come. You let, you know, I've, I've tried to confront some of these big idols, and they don't want nothing to do with Apostle Paul. They want nothing to do with the judgment of God, okay, and the righteousness of, yeah. of men who have the righteousness to judge these wicked people, not to condemn them, but to warn them, them. that they're yeah. going to hell. Like Jesus said, he said, yeah. he said uh, go and sin no more. That's right. Go. Or something worse might happen. What's the worst? You're going to hell. That's the, That's worst, the worst thing that can possibly happen to you. Not that you get a cold or you get the flu or you get cancer or you get a heart attack. No, mm -mm. that your soul mm -mm. is going to hell. That's what Jesus was referring to. And if Jesus to. said, go and sin no more, then it is possible for us to live a life mm. not practicing sin. Wow. Wow. So why would Jesus say that if he didn't right. give if he us didn't know the, the, power the power, the ability to do it, to do, to it, do it, it by by his spirit, to resist, to resist it through his spirit? Yeah. Wow. All right, so guys, this is where we're really getting down to things. Okay. Um. So this is Jezebel seduces God's servants into sexual immorality mm. and idolatry. Jesus, uh, Jesus says, the his Christ's commandments: love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. So we have to live free Correct. of idolatry, free of right. sexual immorality. Okay, if we um, love our brother, we don't lust our brother. Mm. You understand? Lust is really hatred. Okay? Yep. yep. So now, now, oh my gosh. Guys, this is not going to be for everybody, but this is, we're, we're going to talk about this. Because number four, and this is the last thing, the sacrifice of Jezebel, hmm. <laughs> our children. Wow. Our little children. Yeah. Babies. Yep. Okay? And I'm going to prove this in Scripture. So going on back to Galatians 2.20, notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee, because thou sufferest that woman Jezebel, who calleth herself a prophetess, to teach and seduce my servants to commit fornication and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. I have looked at this scripture so many times, but it just occurred to me <laughs> as I was sitting there and saying, eat things sacrificed unto idols. Oh my gosh. What is it that Jezebel wants us to sacrifice? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna look yeah, deeper. Good, we're gonna Monica. look deeper because I looked at because I looked at the cross reference, and it took me to First Kings sixteen. Now here's First Kings sixteen thirty through thirty four, <laughs> guys. This is gonna all make sense. And Ahab, okay, the son of Omri did evil in the sight of the Lord above all that were before him. And it came to pass as if it had if as if it had been a light thing for him to walk in the sins of Jeroboam, mm. jo sorry, the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, that he took to wife Jezebel, the daughter of Ethbal, king of the Zidonians, and went and served Baal and worshipped him. Mm -hmm. Now I want to stop and say, um, so Ahab was the king, he was chosen as the king of Israel. And he did even worse than his father. Every king was right. like more wicked yeah, they, yeah, right, exactly. than, than the one before. And when he talks about the sins of Jeroboam, God hated this so much. Because what the sins of Jeroboam did was lead all of Israel into sin and into idolatry. Mm. So Ahab was doing that. But then on top of that, 
he took the wife, Jezebel. So it was like, it was no big thing. Sins of Jeroboam leading the people into another form of worship and leading them into sin was no big thing, but he wanted to do more. He wanted to be even more wicked. So he took a wife, Jezebel. He knew exactly what he was doing Mm -hmm. and served Baal and worshiped him. Okay? So 32, and he reared up an altar for Baal in the house of Baal, which he had built in Samaria. And Ahab made a grove. Bohemian? What is it? And Ahab made a grove. Yes, Bohemian Bohemian grove. Grove, when you look at the word grove, Grove, you look at the uh, American Dictionary, and it's a totally different definition. The Bible definition is, is a grove for idol worship. Wow. Especially, mm-hmm. and in particularly, Asherah or Astarte, a female, fe- it's female goddess worship. So when Ahab made a grove... He took Jezebel as a wife, and then he made a grove. He says, I'm going all the way with this. I'm I'm not just going with Baal, which was the male counterpart. He was like, I need the female counterpart to make this Mm -hmm. wickedness complete, (laughs) basically. So the grove was especially for Asherah and Astarte, for female goddess worship. Now look at this. In his days, basically in the days of Ahab and Jezebel, says here in 34, in his days did Hiel the Bethelite build Jericho, and he laid the foundation thereof in Abiram his firstborn, and set up the gates thereof in his youngest son, Segumb. Segumb. According to the word of the Lord, which he spake by Joshua the son of Nun. Okay, in other versions, it says, basically it says, he laid the foundation thereof at the cost of his firstborn and set up the gate at the cost of his youngest son. Guys, do you understand (laughs) what we're talking about? This is child sacrifice. There you go, which is... This really, is really, child sacrifice. All this si- child sacrifice stuff is coming to light in 2024. Okay, That's not right. just on on with these celebrities and stuff like that, yeah. but even in personal lives of of like Angelo and Veronica. Do Do you remember a Beatles album cover, and it mm-hmm. had dead baby dolls? Yep. yep. Dead baby dolls. Dead how, bloody how twisted baby dolls. They were. Yes. But the Christians love the Beatles. The Christian industry was built on the Beatles. Yeah, That's what this go. is talking about. This is how they gained their power, mm. their wealth, their success, their prosperity. There you, go. there you go. Why would anyone do this? Okay. Why would anybody put photos like that of babies, dead babies around you? Why would you do And why, yeah. as a Christian... Why would you even support that kind of foolishness? Right. Oh, I love the Beatles. Oh, really? I grew up with the Beatles too, okay? But you know what? I cast yeah. them out in Jesus' name. Yes. Because they are not believers. They're not Christian. Yeah. Then there's nothing Christian about it. There's nothing good about it. It only comes to get you. Mm-hmm. And if you allow your idol to get you, it's got you. Then yeah. let your idol save you. Yeah. So Je- on Jezebel's mm. altar, an altar means place of slaughter. Place of slaughter. There you go. So on Jezebel's altar, the sacrifice is children. Sacrifice means the, mo- the, uh, the common and most ancient sacrifice whose essential rite was eating the flesh of the victim at a feast in which the God of the clan shared by receiving the blood and fat pieces. So now we go back to this verse and we know what it means. Mm -hmm. 
to teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication, to eat things sacrificed mm -hmm. unto idols. Mm -hmm. Now we understand. Now I understand. I did a little bit of searching, and now I understand what it means. So Jericho, okay, was built on the altar of child wow. sacrifice. Wow. 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 Cities wow. are built. Yeah. On the altar yeah. of child sacrifice, people's success and fame and, and wealth is built on the altar of child sacrifice. This is who pays. And we are experiencing it in the world today with this case that's going on that the federal, uh, the human resource uh, agents that are are exposing this guy and everybody involved. And I don't want to hear, oh, I went to the party, but I, didn't, I wasn't a part of it. Yeah, you were. Repent. Repent, sir, ma'am, whoever right. you are, that you allowed yourself to go in the midst of the wolves. For what? <laughs> to see, oh, you're going you're gonna to lead people to Jesus? Really? I heard this rapper. I mean, you are so... You are so, I don't want to talk yeah. about it. You upset me because you have influence over Christians because they think that because you say you're a Christian and you go to this party, these parties, these sex parties where they're child tra uh, trafficking and you say, oh, I'm not part of it. Yeah, you are. You walked in. Who, who got changed, you or them? Come on. That's right. Wake up. Do you know that Jericho is now known as, as the West Bank? That's right. And children That's right. are still being di dying there and being sacrificed. That's right. You can see okay. it on TikTok. Children are still dying. That's because right. Because this was, God said, because it was, it was uh, prophesied by Joshua, that whoever rebuilds Jericho is going to be cursed. And how in the world... Because God knew how it was going to be rebuilt. Right. Stop it today. That's right. stop, the, stop the stupid. Okay? Yeah. No. God is not going to endorse this. He's not going to endorse Jezebel. Yeah. He's not going to endorse murder of children. Mm -hmm. He's not going to endorse sacrifice of children. It's not mm -hmm. going to happen. That's not God's people. I also want to say that another form of hmm. child sacrifice is pedoph pedophilia. Oh. That is another form of child sacrifice, abusing a child sexually, because that is a murder. That is a type of murder. It's a murder of the soul. Yeah, and think about what they do, Veronica. They groom and prepare these young children, yeah. okay, mm -hmm. to prey upon them to rob them of their innocence and of their souls. I'm yep. telling you, this stuff is real. Yep. If that's you, yep. look around you. Mm -hmm. Say, this person yep. doesn't have the best, in my best interest in the heart. Mm -hmm. Who has your best interest in their heart? Yep. Is it God? Is it your mother and father? Or is it, or, or is it your brother? Or, I and mean, again, this is how Jezebel does it. She leads them into sexual immorality Bingo. and they become the sacrifice. That's exact that's yeah. exactly right. So guys, you will either receive God's sacrifice, his son Jesus Christ, or you will succumb to Jezebel's wow. sacrifice. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh, I wanted to say this. This is why many churches will not preach against abortion. No, they're sneaky. Okay? No, they'll, because they'll, in the say, they'll say abortion's wrong, but they won't preach on it. Right, because in the 501c3 church, if you become a 501c3, we've done a message on this, you cannot preach um, any political issues. You, you cannot preach against abortion. You cannot preach against LGBT. Absolutely not. Right. Now, as an adult, if you choose... To have sex, you've made your choice. You forfeit your choice at that point because it's God's creation. It's not yours. Right. 
Okay, you, right. you, God may have used your seed, okay, or your womb, but the reality is it's his creation. And if you decide whether you do, you're having sex out of ignorance or just out of having fun, okay, then you've forfeited your right to choose what is right and what is wrong. Because what is right is the life of the life, the life of, of the child. The life yeah. of the child, not yours. So now look at this, guys. I want to tell you um, about mm. this, uh, this YouTube channel. So abortion is a type of child sacrifice. It is. It is. Child sacrifice. Absolutely. And I'm going to link uh, a video entitled Abortion is a Ritual wow. by Lisa Meister. I just got to know her. She is an absolute woman of God. Amen. And she has a channel called Only God Rescued Me wow. about God rescuing Good her stuff. from horrific growing up in a family that practice satanic ritual wow. abuse. And she endured horrific, um, horrific satanic rituals, mm -hmm. okay? Including seeing babies being used in sacrifice. Wow. Now, I'm going to prove to you this is real. And her, her video will explain more. This is real because she, w she talks about the satanic temple... <laughs> Okay, this is a real thing. There is a satanic temple. Is exerting their right to use abortion as ritual sacrifice as part of their religious freedom. <sighs> this, is, this is real, guys. Yeah, the you're satanic, free to go to hell. The satanic temple yeah. calls it religious, religious yeah. abortion ritual. If, G if you don't receive Jesus as the one and only sacrificial lamb, then a child will be. Wow. Guys, please wow. receive Jesus Christ. Yes, today, run to him. Receive him. Father God, we just thank you Hallelujah. for today. We thank you, Lord, that we receive Jesus Christ, that he came to be the sacrifice, Hallelujah. John the Baptist said, he is the Lamb of God, Lamb of God who takes, takes away, away the sin sins of the, of the world. world. He is the one mm -hmm. and only sacrifice Hallelujah. so that our children don't have to be mm -hmm. a sacrifice, so that we don't have to be sacrificed, O oh God. Mm -hmm. Jesus is the sacrifice and if you don't know today, Jesus Christ died for your sins, was buried, and rose on the third day according to the scriptures. And we thank you, God. We received, we received Hallelujah. Jesus Christ as our Savior today. Right. Today. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, bless you in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, for th those who have ears to hear this. This is tough stuff. For us to, to uh, it's a tough it's pill to real. swallow. It's real. But it's yeah. absolutely real. We need to get out of our slumber, out of our sleep, yeah. and wake yeah. up. Wake up, people. We love you. Have a blessed week. Be strong. Be in your word. Yes. Yes. Keep your faith lifted high and strong. In the mighty name of Jesus, peace.